Call to order. This is the second regular meeting of the 2010-2011 Common Council. And as is uh, customary, uh, tonight our Deputy City Clerk, Linda <laughs> Long, will read the quote of the evening. You are in this world to create history either for yourself or for this world. The choice lies with you. Thank you, Linda. Roll call, please. Warren. Here. Bauk. Here. Bowers. Here. Decker. Here. Gisha. Here. Hammond. Here. Hannah. Here. Heidemann. Here. Kath. Here. Kittleson. Here. Montemayor. Here. Radke. Here. Rinfleisch. Here. Vanderweel. Here. Versi. Here. Longerman. Here. 16. We have a quorum. Uh, if Alderman Boren can please join us, or please lead us, rather, in the Pledge of Allegiance. Can I do it from here? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Thank you, Jim. Looking for approval of the minutes of the prior Common Council meeting. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second for approval of the minutes under discussion. If there is none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I believe that President Kisha has a word to say before we get the meeting underway. If I could uh, ask, thank you, Your Honor. If I could ask the new uh, council uh, members to email me some dates that you may be available next week for about an hour orientation session on procedures and, and uh, quirks of the council. Uh, we'll have some words from uh, Madam City Clerk and perhaps uh, Attorney McLean uh, during the day would be pre preferable. But if you could do that uh, by Wednesday so we could get that scheduling going, I would appreciate it. Thank you, President Kisha. We are looking for confirmation of the mayor's appointments to the standing committees. Uh, if you will look, Alderman, on the standing committees, we did make some minor adjustments. The main reason for this was that in all of the uh, changing back and forth, trying to, uh, trying to uh, meet Alderman's expectations and, uh, and their preferences, um, we ended up last week with uh, two committees, Public Protection and Safety and Public Works, where we had one was a standing quorum of the other. We had uh, uh, too many like aldermen on those committees, so we did make some minor changes. I hope they are acceptable to everybody. President Kisha. Thank you, Your Honor. Due to these changes, I'm asking for suspension of the rules so that we can pass uh, the amended form. Second. We have a motion and a second on suspension of the rules. Is anybody opposed to suspending the rules? There is no opposition. Rules are suspended. Your Honor, I move that the uh, standing committees be passed as printed amended. Thank you. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second to pass the standing committees for the 2010-2011 council year as amended under discussion. If there is none, roll call please. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kath? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Wanderweel? Aye. Percy? Aye. Wagaman? Aye. Bourne? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. We are now looking for confirmation of the mayor's appointments to special committees, boards, and commissions. President Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the uh, approval of the appointments to special commissions, boards, and we, we will also have to suspend the rules on this because there are some minor changes. I'm sorry, Your Honor, I didn't notice that. You're correct. Uh, page three and four uh, do have a change in them. So I'm asking for suspension of the rules prior to asking for a second. Passage. Motion and a second on suspension of the rules. Is there any opposition to suspending the rules? There is none. Rules are suspended. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the uh, we uh, approval of the appointments to special committees, boards, and commissions as amended. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. We have Alder Person Montemayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As considerable concerns have been raised regarding appointments to the library board, I hereby move to divide the question and to vote separately on the appointments to the library board. Second. We have a motion and a second on, on 
uh, separating the library board from the rest of the vote under discussion on removing the library board only. Alderman Wangaman, would you like to speak on this? Uh, yes, thank you. <coughs> I was going to uh, make the same motion myself, and I would point just like to make a comment order. or two. Point of order. I think that um, for, according to Robert's rules of order, the mo this particular motion is not debatable. When we come to the vote, then I think the discussion is on. Okay. This was on the motion only. Attorney McLean, would you like to comment on that? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Caught him off guard. Uh, I, I'm looking at Robert's rules if, to confirm what Alderman Mottsmeyer is saying. Take a minute. Everybody take a little breather. Person Montemayor, do you have any uh, particular section of Robert's Rules of Orders that? Um, I think it was simply on the division of the question. I think that's it was that, and and of course, and it said it was definitely discussion later, but on the motion to divide it was. Okay. Um, excuse me. I'm looking at uh, sort of the table of rules relating to motions, division of a question. Uh, under debatable, it says no. Okay. So that would be clear. Okay, so there is no debate on division of the question, so we will go straight to a roll call vote on division of the question. A yes vote will, will divide the question. In other words, there will be a vote on all uh, appointments to special committees, boards, and commissions if, with a yes vote with the exception of the library board, which will have a separate vote. A no vote will mean that the library board vote will be taken along with the rest. Is everybody clear on that? Mm -hmm. Bowers? No. Decker? No. Gisha? No. Hammond? No. Hannah? No. Heidemann? No. Kath? No. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Rinfleisch? No. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Could I vote, please? Oh, I'm sorry. And, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure you want to. It's known as the top of the list. Born? No. <laughs> That's happened and before. Bulk. Aye. <laughs> Seven yes, nine no. Uh, motion fails. Okay, so we are uh, now under discussion on the confirmation of appointments. Uh, Alderperson Montemayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I am disappointed that I was not given the opportunity to divide the question. I have no objections to the mayor's appointments in general, but I am forced to vote no because of my concern regarding the library appointments. Again, this vote is all about the importance of continuity of proven leadership in an extraordinarily challenging economic environment. And that is why I will vote no on these proposed appointments. This is not about the two persons that the mayor has asked to be appointed. It is not about the mayor's power of appointment. It is all about the importance of continuity of proven leadership in an extraordinarily challenging economic environment. What an amazing institution this library is and how the fabric of this library is woven into this community. Just think, 39,000 city residents have library cards. 39,000 <coughs> city residents. Just think, over 900,000 items were checked out of our library last year. 
Just think, in 2009, the number of visits to the library averaged 120 citizens per hour. The library has thrived and has become an even more important has become even more important to a city that is still struggling with hard financial times. Do not discount the importance of strong, experienced leadership in making that happen, particularly from the library board president, Bernie Markovich, and vice president, Tom Paneski. Speaking as a liaison to the Mead Public Library Board, we absolutely <coughs> welcome new members and new perspectives. Three months ago, we welcomed a new trustee, Henry Nelson, and in May, the new school district appointee will be Chad Stauber South. Again, this vote is all about the importance of continuity of proven leadership in an extraordinarily challenging economic environment. And that is why I hope you will join me in voting no on these proposed appointments. Thank you, Alderperson Montemayor. Under further discussion, Alderman Bout. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I, uh, I would like to have seen it come up for a separate vote. I would have been fine with that. I think it would have been a good discussion. Uh, I disagree with my friend in that it's about proven trusted leadership. I think it's uh, actually about the fact that the library board allowed itself to be chaired and vice chaired by two people whose appointments expire in the same year. Uh, and that two elevenths of that board, two elevenths of that board are going to be refreshed this year um, like our schedule calls for. And the nine that are on the current library board can choose to ostracize those two if they want. They don't even have, you, you know, the, it's not like there's been a regime change on the library board. Um, that board will convene, the 11 of them, they will elect their own new chair and their own new vice chair. Oh, 10. They will, uh, they will elect their own leadership and vice leadership again, and they will carry on their work. There, there will be no undue influence by the office of the mayor. He can't do anything to them. They're a separate board. All he can do is appoint new blood. And frankly, um, one of the things that, that this city could use is some, some uh, new thinking on all of its committees. And I know that the two people that are being appointed have served the city in various capacities in the past. So there are some people saying they're not new blood. But you know what? New we need some new ideas. And so it's the mayor's prerogative to do that. Uh, and and I, I go to church with Bernie. This is nothing against Bernie or the other fella. Uh, they deserve great kudos for what they've accomplished on that library board. Uh, but you just won't believe the silliness I've received via email in the past 48 hours. People treating this like it's the Kennedy assassination all over again. There's all kinds of conspiracy theories. This is the fact that every year, two people get reappointed or don't get reappointed <coughs> to a seat they either like and uncomfortable in and have had for a long time or are new to. This is a refreshing of the tree of ideas on the library board and, and frankly I'm glad a lot of people speak up about it but it's been overblown just a little in my opinion. Thank you Mr. Mayor. Thank you Alderman Bauck. Uh, next we have President Gisha. Thank you Your Honor. I echo uh, a lot of what Alderperson uh, Bauk has stated, uh, I guess I stand in support of the library and are in support of a strong, vital, vibrant library, and I think it will continue to be so, as described by Alderman Bauk. But more so, I stand because I received many calls and emails that, uh, that cast the two nominees in a negative light, and that was quite bothersome to me. Uh, so I stand in defense of these individuals. I would not vote for these individuals or any individual if I felt they were unqualified. We have two former alder persons from the city of Sheboygan. One who I believe has visited virtually every library in this county and including the Eastern Shores library system. One who I don't exchange Christmas cards with, let's say, and have had many disagreements with on a professional level. And uh, I still believe the qualifications trump of politics and personal feelings. Um, change is good. Change is healthy. Uh, Alderman Hanna was once uh, chairman of the finance committee that I now chair. Did it fall apart? Some would say yes. But uh, in, reality, in reality, the continuity uh, continued and, uh, and there were new members on the committee and we had different ideas and approaches. Uh, I think the library has a very strong director. Uh, the director is, not, is under contract, isn't going anywhere. Um, I, I agree and have heard the touting of her qualifications uh, from top to bottom, which I agree are rather stellar. 
So I think we have great direction at the top, which I believe is the library director. I understand the board, she operates under the, uh, the, um, the auspices of the board. However, that leadership is in place and continuity is there. And I agree with Alderman Bauck that uh, change is often difficult, but in the long run proves to be much better and refreshing ideas in the long run for all. Thank you, President Kisha. Is there any further discussion? Uh, Attorney McLean. Uh, thank you. Uh, and I'm not going to address the library board issue. Uh, my issue is, has to do with the redevelopment authority. That requires confirmation of the appointments to the redevelopment authority require a four-fifths vote, which is 13 aldermen. Uh, so <coughs> if uh, all these are acted on together, if you get a majority vote but you don't get 13, the uh, nominees for the redevelopment authority are not confirmed. That would, in, in essence, put the redevelopment authority on hold until the next council meeting, correct? Uh, technically, if the council doesn't confirm an appointment, you can't renominate those same people for a year. I'll pull it out. Um, uh, Mr. Mayor, I'd, uh, I'd pull that one out for a separate vote if we need to. I'd move that. Second. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have a motion to due to the four-fifths vote required for the redevelopment authority. We have a motion and a second to pull the redevelopment authority out for a separate vote so it does not get uh, um, basically abolished in the process of the rest of the, the uh, rest of the confirmations. Under discussion on that issue only, or that there is no discussion on this, let's just go straight to a roll call vote on pulling the redevelopment authority out for a separate vote. How's that sound? Linda? Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kath? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Rindfleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Bourne? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. So what we are discussing now is uh, voting um, on everything with the exception of the redevelopment authority. Alderperson Montemayor. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Again, Alderman, this vote is all about the importance of continuity of proven leadership in an extraordinarily challenging economic environment. And that is why I hope you will join me in voting no on these proposed appointments for the library board. Thank you, Alderperson Montemayor. Is there any further discussion? Without influencing the vote one way or the other or pontificating from the bench, um, I, would like to, uh, I, I, I would like to just say that uh, my decision on all committee, committees, uh, boards, et cetera, on making appointments or not making appointments um, have been based upon basically the end of terms. When people's terms are up, the library board is not the only board, committee, or commission that there were changes made. There were changes made on many other committees, many other boards, and other commissions that did not raise the ire of the public the way that the decision on the library board did. The decisions to not reappoint both Mr. Paneski and Mr. Markovich had nothing to do with personal feelings. Um, it simply had to, it was simply based upon the end of their appointment and myself seeing that fresh blood was needed. So as we, as we, as we make our vote, why this ended up being such a personal issue that had to be played out in the, in the media is a mystery. So just keep that in mind when we make our vote. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Gisha? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kath? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Montemayor? No. Radke? Aye. Rindfleisch? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Wangaman? No. Bourne? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Bowers? Aye. Decker? Aye. 
14 ayes, 2 no. Motion carries. Uh, we need now need a motion to. Your Honor, I move that we uh, we now uh, approve the nominees for the redevelopment authority. Second. Motion and a second on the redevelopment authority, which is a separate vote under discussion. If there is none on the redevelopment authority, roll call, please. Hammond. Aye. Hanna. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Cap. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Bracke. Aye. Rinfleit. Aye. Vanderbilt. Aye. Mercy. Aye. Wangerman. Aye. Warren. Aye. Bout. Aye. Bowers. Aye. Decker. Aye. Gisha. Aye. 69. Motion carries. Do we have a motion to adjourn? We do. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> motion carries.